We are setting up the Linksys AC1000 dual band Wi-Fi 5 router. The model is E5350, so basically we're going to plug it in and get it online. On the back of the router you have four LAN ports, one yellow internet port where your modem is plugged in, a WPS button, and the power, uh, the place where you plug in the power cable. On the bottom of the router you have the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Those are the defaults when you reset the router to default settings. Then you have your serial number and your MAC address. And over here you have the reset button. The router comes with one Ethernet cable. One end of the Ethernet cable goes into your modem and the other end goes into this yellow port that's labeled Internet. Now you can plug your power in. To reset your router to factory settings, which I usually like to do to make sure that these default network names and passwords are actually in place, that comes from the factory, I always like to reset the settings. So I, you take a sharp object or a pointy object and press this little button on the bottom. And in general, usually it's you got to hold it down for like 5, 10, 15 seconds, something like that. So we'll see what happens. You press this button in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So this, since this router doesn't have like a power uh, light on it or anything, which is kind of weird. Uh, usually, you look for the lights to flash and stuff, but this one doesn't have a light. So I'm assuming the router's settings are reset now. Uh, if not, uh, I might just try again with doing it longer, like 30 seconds or something. But I'm pretty sure that'll be good. The next thing you're going to want to do is connect to the router via Wi-Fi. You can do this on your phone, you can do it on your laptop, you can do it on any in your tablet, on any mobile device. And now I'm going to use it. I'm going to use my Chromebook here. So I'm going to go down here to the network, and then the go to which networks are right here the networks pop up you're looking for linksys linksys with a bunch of numbers one has five gigahertz at the end and one doesn't the one that doesn't say five gigahertz is your 2.4 gigahertz network this one is the is the same network name but it's got five gigahertz at the end that's how you know so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to join the five gigahertz one if you don't see five gigahertz it's because your device doesn't support the five gigahertz band or it might be turned off or something so i'm going to either one you can join the same it's the same thing so the default password is the one it's it's printed on your uh manual it's also printed on the bottom of your router so for example my manual is right here uh manual is right here you open it this is the same thing, it's on the bottom of your router. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. So once you have your Wi-Fi password typed in, your default one, which is gonna be different for everyone, you're gonna go ahead and hit enter or connect. Next, you open up your favorite browser. I'm gonna use Chrome. And then up here, you're gonna to go to it's very important you're on Wi-Fi before you do this. If you're using your phone's data connection, this will not work. You must be on Wi-Fi. So you go to myrouter.local and then hit enter. If typing in myrouter.local doesn't work, like it didn't for me for some reason, then you can just go to 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one and hit enter so now it works select i have read and accept the license terms for using this software then hit next so if you're having problems like me then you're probably going to get this window saying your ethernet cable is not plugged into your internet port properly. So that cable goes from your internet port on the back of the router, which is right there, that yellow port. And the other one is supposed to be plugged in your modem and your modem needs to be online. So if your modem is online and you had another router working, 
if you have that one pl cable plugged into your modem and you had another router working, we're going to I'm going to help you out. If you don't have this problem, you're probably on you're probably on the internet already. You probably won't even get this box and you'll probably be able to access the internet already. But for those of, those of us that are having problems on this box, we're just going to go ahead and click exit. If you get this window, just click do not set up. Then you get this box that says, you have not finished the setup, please close the window. Okay, close. The default login for this router is admin, all lowercase, A-D-M-I-N, enter. So if you previously had a router online and you're simply upgrading to this Linksys router, and this router for some reason is not getting on the internet, but your last router was working fine, there is a trick the proper thing to do would be to call your internet service provider and tell them that you got a new router and they'll re reset the MAC address settings for you. But if you just don't feel like calling them or don't can't call them or whatever, to save yourself a phone call, you can kind of fix it yourself real quick. So what we're going to do is uh, Mac configure MAC address clone. So you go over here to configuration and then the left side over here, you go to MAC address clone. So on this screen, you want to select MAC address clone, and then you your MAC address from your old router, you want to type in there. So for example, if this was my old router, this other Linksys, I would simply look at the bottom and there's a sticker down here. And it says MAC address. So 24F5, blah, 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 blah. I would take all those, or it would be different for your router, because your router would have different numbers on there. And you would go on this screen, and this is where you would type it in. Then you do not click this button. Do not click this blue button. Once you have your stuff typed in there, you go to save. And if you do that, you might. it doesn't work for everyone. You might have success getting online after that. But if not, then you're going to need to call your ISP because you're probably having problems or they it might work different for them. This, this will not work for everyone. And it's not even really a proper solution, but it'll save you a phone call if you don't want to do that. If you want to change the settings for your wireless networks, for your Wi-Fi, if you want to change the names and passwords of your Wi-Fi, you go over here on the left side, and you you first, we're already in configuration. So you want to be in configuration, and then you want to go to Wi-Fi on the left side. And once that loads, this is the name. This is you got your 5 gigahertz wireless settings right there. And down here you have your 2.4 gigahertz settings. So this right here, network name, that's the name of your 5 gigahertz network. I recommend leaving the 5 gigahertz on here and just only changing this beginning part or name it something completely unique. Because if you name both of your networks the same thing, this is your 5 gigahertz and this is your 2.4 gigahertz. If you name them the same thing, then when you go to your Wi-Fi list, it's gonna show up and it's gonna be confusing about which one's which. So you can leave that five gigahertz on there or just use the number five in there somewhere or just name them something completely unique so you can tell the difference. So that's how you change the name. Now to change the password for your Wi-Fi networks, once you're done with this screen, you can go over to uh which one was it wireless security now you have your two passwords that you can set the top ones for your five gigahertz wireless uh wi-fi and the bottom ones for your 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi these are the passwords this one you'll see is the default uh that you see printed on the bottom of your router so for example i'll show you when you sit when you reset it to factory settings this little sticker on the bottom of the router see so is zero j j o i s it's the same, 0JJOIS, blah, 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 blah. That's your factory default. So yours, yours will be different than mine. So this, you can set yours to this if you want, but you can change your password to whatever you want, and then you can save it. I would recommend you leave the security mode at WPA2 personal. That's probably the best option for pretty much everybody at this, at this time. You can leave it the same for both. If at this point, if you've, uh, plugged it in and reset all the settings and you tried the MAC address thing um, and, and you're still not getting online then your best bet is probably going to be to call your internet service provider. 
I know some people get confused by this. Your internet has to come from somewhere from this router. Your router provides the Wi-Fi, but you have to get the internet from somewhere. So usually that comes from your modem, which your ISP comes to your house and sets that up for you. you either they'll provide a modem for you or you have to go buy one because this router does not have a modem built into it. So you'll either have to troubleshoot your modem or you can just call up your ISP and tell them you got a new router and they'll be able to help you out. So I hope that video helps. And uh, if it did, please let me know. If the video is horrible, let me know that too. I get a lot of bad rap on a lot of on some of my videos because they say it's too long. I tried to make this one as quick as I could. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Thanks for watching.